Hello guys, it's Unders. Today we're coming back with a nice little Logic X tutorial. If these videos are helpful for you, please pop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, any questions, comment down below. It all helps me out in creating more content for you guys. So essentially what we're looking at today are freezing tracks and the two different options you have when freezing a track. Now, what freezing a track allows you to do is free up a little bit of CPU. So this project I've got here is not necessarily a huge one, but I've got lots of different processing running because I've got lots of vocal channels that have required a bit of attention and I haven't yet bounced them down to a tr two track like I probably will and like you would have seen in other tracks where I get the vocals bang on, bounce them out just to a single audio track because they tend to require the most editing and attention. So on this, we've got 32 tracks and I've had to freeze six through down to say 22 uh, also some of the drums at the top as well they've been frozen just to free up a bit of cpu now just while the track sat idle i am recording which uses a bit of cpu as well but if we look right up here at the top cpu is still sitting around like the 70 percent mark so if we play a bit of the track we'll probably see that slam right the way up Okay, and that'll just come back down a little bit. Now, if I take all of these tracks off of Frozen, it will still play, but it chokes the CPU. We start getting underruns in the audio, and the underruns are those little pops and clicks that you'll sometimes hear when you've got a really busy track. So, freezing the track effectively what it does is bounces out audio doesn't show you the audio but it will have that running in the background and it turns off all other processes now that can be helpful in a couple of ways if for example like we've got the sub and beeline and lead here they're all synth or sample generated they require some cpu processing for that synth to say generate the noise we can take that out of the equation by freezing the track what it also does is it frees all the processes happening on the tracks. So we've got a few plugins going on here and we'll see, say on here, for example, this won't be frozen. So I haven't frozen any of my aux tracks. They don't currently appear in here. But if we say choose the sublime, which has got one plugin on and a massive synth. So what this will be doing here is freezing that massive synth to audio so it's not having to think about making that process and you see when we highlight it here it comes up with a little froze icon a little snowflake type symbol however saturn we can still engage with and i can still adjust it and play around with it and the reason for that is we have two modes when freezing audio now if we choose a sub like i have here the one that this list is untitled we go to the inspector on the left we choose track we can have freeze mode and then we can have source only. We can then have pre fader as well. Now pre fader will take the channel itself. So it would take massive and freeze that and then it would take Saturn and freeze that as well. However, this way it's just taking the output from massive and still allowing me to edit the sound. Okay. And you'll get different icons for that. So where it's a blue frozen icon here, that means I've, bounced out just that audio track but I'm still able to affect it when it is green like we have on B line here you'll see I've also got the frozen icon on the plugins as well I'm no longer able to edit those and I would have to turn it to source only from the inspector over here to then be able to edit that now you might have reached this point and you can't see these icons down the side to freeze your tracks they're relatively easy to find. If you right click, for example, on the track itself, we have something here called track header components. And these will be on or off depending on your settings, but you can turn it freeze on just there and then you can freeze the different tracks. So when you freeze a track, you need to then let the audio run through and it will bounce out. We will grab a Brooklyn kit here, for example, and we're gonna freeze that. Now, when I try and play back, it's going to freeze that audio.
and now I can play back without there being this being affected. It's not actually playing from the drum kit. As you can see, it's now frozen. I can't interact with it. It's just playing back the audio. We can do that across multiple channels to save CPU. You can not do it on your aux channels. So I've got to the point where I'm mainly mixing this on the aux strips, as you can see here. So I've got an overall sound I like. I tend to work on the aux strips a lot and really get everything working together all as one. It's all great having individual sounds sounding great, but if they don't all fit together and work as you want together, there's not much point. So this is how I work. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but this is what I'm doing here. So guys, hopefully, if you're having CPU issues and underruns and you didn't know about freezing tracks, this has helped you out. If it has, bang a like on the video for me, give me a comment down below. And uh, if you've got any other questions, do that as well. I shall see you on the next one, guys. Thank you very much.